And then. <laughs> and then. And then. This is your mom telling you. <laughs> this is mom, mom voice. <laughs> Hi there. there. Welcome to the Notorious Needle. I'm Sarah. I'm the designer. I'm Bridget. I'm the comic relief. <laughs> she also designs. And on this channel, we talk about cross stitch mostly. Today, we're going to talk about um, a recap of the fun um, weekend we spent at the Beach Please Cross Stitch Retreat in Tampa, February 2024. Mm -hmm. That's right. Take it away, Bridget. Take it away. Where am, I, where am I taking it to? Well, you didn't tell me what we were going to do first, so I'm winging it. Okay. Um, so we just go over what we got in our goodie bag? Well, um, first I need to remember um, the Beach Please um, retreat was put on by Stacy at, is it Thread the Needle Stitchery? Yes, Thread the Needle Stitchery. It's Stacy Stitches. Yeah. Is her um, floss tube, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, Tampa, was, Florida in February, the weather was gorgeous. It only it rained one day. We had a great time. Oh, but the reason why this is so late is because I got COVID. So we had to um, postpone the recording of this video. And we had to leave the retreat a couple of hours early. Very quickly. <clears throat> and Sunday. we left our finishes behind, which is why the pegboard is blank. <laughs> but she's going to mail them she's to us. She's going so. to very kindly mail them to us. Yeah, so no worries. Yeah, yeah, because we bought them for the brag table, right? And then, left. and then I was feeling sick, and I was like, I don't know what this is, but I don't want to get anyone else sick, so I, I waited outside for a while until the announcements were done, and then, and then we left. And once I tested positive, we didn't want to go back. You know, yeah. we didn't want to risk getting anyone else sick, just in case. I mean, I'm fine, but not everyone else is fine. And I didn't get it. She didn't get it, and nobody at our table got it either. Thank goodness. No, and we drove. We drove home. We like, drove home for five, five hours, hours in the same car, and Bridget still didn't get sick. So good immune system. <laughs> <laughs> Local honey, I highly recommend right. it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that was the adventure. Yeah. Because we drove over. Because Tampa, you know, it's kind of close. Yeah, yeah. It was like f four or five hour drive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we ended up camping out on this campground. In oh, Newport, Richie. Oh, no. Well, let's not. Well, let, my mommy used to say, if you got nothing good to say, don't say nothing. Well, what I will say is that they are under new management and there are a lot of repairs underway, but a lot of repairs that still yet need to be done. Yeah. So we're not going to mention the name of the campground because... <laughs> You don't want to stay I don't there. recommend it. Uh -uh. All righty. Okay. Oh, so, we got these bags. So first of all, we got these really cute bags. They're like a burlap? Cotton? They're cotton. See, yeah. the label says I was just caught in the moment. Oh, cute. <laughs> so, yeah. These are our goodie bags, and they were stuffed. They were stuffed. They had lots of goodies in them. Um, what was the name of the resort it was at? You're gonna ask me the yeah, hard I don't, questions I don't now. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't write that down. All right, I'll look it up. You you talk about all the cool stuff we got in our bags. Okay, so the first thing we got was our welcome packet. Welcome to Beach, please. And they had all these designers. And the thing of it is, um, I don't know if I can show you that because we got all these free patterns. And I don't, I can't show the patterns. I'm so sorry. But we got a, a flower garden, a flower garden sampler, a sunflower chart, um, a bitty blossoms chart. We got mini celebration sampler. There's like five different patterns just in this little pamphlet that we got. And then this one is, was this in the, was this? We got this pattern, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I might this actually one. stitch this one by this Tiny Modernist. This one's so cute. It really is. I think it's so adorable. Yeah, I really like that the one. colors. I, I like the bold colors. Yeah, I know you do. And then we also got this really adorable. These are plastic. Oh, yeah, the floss. They're, I think they're acrylic. Well, they're, I, are, they, are they like 3D printer stamped or something no no i think they're i think they're acrylic yeah they look like poured acrylic that's how you get all the swirls and stuff these floss drops which yeah. are really cool they're really really nice i need to use them for something yeah and there's a um a lip flops lip flops yes lip flop charm yeah so adorable love that um we got these really cool little nippers which by the way 
I believe Which, are the TS lid is great. Yeah, but I think these are TSA safe. Okay. Because she would she said she wasn't going to give us anything that you couldn't fly home with. Um and I know that TSA it has to be a certain like it has to be over a certain length in order to be considered dangerous, but um I don't know, I think I could do some damage with these. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do, uh, somebody really wants to. I can do damage with my diamond hands. ring, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she gave us a little, a nice little pen with a notepad. Mm -hmm. So we could write down the names of all of our peeps. Uh, it's the Sheraton Sand Key Resort. It was a nice resort, too. It was. Yeah. Yeah, right on the water. It was, And it was outside of Tampa. It was a very resort oriented area of um beach yep and we got this take me to the beach please cross oh yeah the kit was kit, included yeah which is really nice it's got the fabric it's got all of the floss i mean it's regular dmc floss which Who's is the designer fine. emily call emily call and emily call was the featured designer at the retreat she um she came she and came spoke and gave, about her inspiration. Right. I was going to say, she gave a talk. Yeah. And she chatted with people and she sat at, and stitched with people. And she was very personable. She was really, really nice. Yeah, very sweet. I don't remember where I got this. That's the only thing I don't remember. Uh, that was a, I think that was in the bag too. Oh, I okay. Have one. Oh, you have one. Okay. Yeah. So this was in the bag. This is the Ameline Sampler by October House. And, um, oh, it, right. Because there were like four different patterns and you got, you got two of them four additional little patterns in the bag and you got two of them and we were trading around on our table which ones we liked i don't have two yeah you did i had two yeah everybody got two. Oh, i don't know what happened to the other one then. i don't know either but we were trading mm, around i also okay. got gingham flower by october house fiber arts so that's really nice actually that would be like a good needle book cover oh I that think. would yeah oh it has the year 2005 so you i'm, I'm sure there's an um numerical all the numbers you could figure it and then out this one says do come in also by october house Fiber i like Arts. those yeah i don't know where my second one is it's probably yeah the, i'll probably run across it in the pile maybe that's what this one was oh maybe yeah oh okay there's my other one what was it praiseworthy stitch yep praiseworthy stitches rooks rooks feast so if y'all have been watching the channel you know that I'm not probably going to stitch either one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I might saying. stitch the gingham flower. I don't know. I might trade you for one of those. Hmm. <laughs> but, hey, if if not, they'll make great giveaways. <laughs> well, we got we got a lot of, um, let's see, a lot of charts in our, um, our booklet. Yeah. So that was really, we, yeah, I lots just, of charts. I just told them charts. that once. And then also, well, the, there was a really cool part. We're done with what was in the bag, right? I think so, yeah. I went through everything that was oh, in the bag. Oh, you know what? I can't find that, so the flat fold finish tutorial. You can't? No. Ah. Got, it's been like five weeks since we went, and I ended up, when I got home, I quarantined in this room, so like stuff was everywhere. And I've picked it up mostly, but, you know, stuff is still kind of everywhere. And when she says she quarantined in here, she slept in here. I, yep, I she did. She ate in here. I did. She stayed away from her family. I did for, for five days. Yeah, because she didn't want to give them the cooties. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was Apparently, pretty, I'm cootie immune. I, I was pretty sick that first day. Like that You, was, that was you were really sick. Yeah, no, I slept the whole drive. and I, I drove all the way home. I had a fever and a headache, and I, I, I slept... The whole drive home, five hours, and then I came home, I ate, I went to the bathroom, I slept another four hours, I got up, I ate, and then I went back to bed and slept another 10 hours. Like, yeah, that's so tired. Yeah. But Which anyways. is how we knew that it was time to go because she was not feeling well yeah. when she woke up that morning. It was not a cold. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I was okay. Well, I had a headache when I got up in the morning and I was- Yeah, no, you got progressively worse as yeah. the day wore on and we yeah. were like, you know what? It's this time is to not... go. Yep. Yeah. This is not going to- Yep. Not going to go away. When, and at the last retreat we were at at StitchCon, one of our table mates, the same thing happened. She um, she felt like she was getting sick and took a test and it turned out to be COVID. Um, and she that was a lot earlier in the retreat. Yeah, like the I, second day. Oops, sorry, I touched my microphone. When I got sick, it was the last day. Like I started feeling really bad. Like it was after dinner. 
So it's basically over. Um, but um, she, the other lady who got sick at our table was very kind. She let everyone know. Um, she was well taken care of. She's fully recovered. This was like a year ago. And um, that was just, it was just very considerate of her to leave early mm -hmm. um, because she, because um, I know of at least one person at Beach Please who wasn't feeling well and didn't leave early. No. And there was somebody sitting across the table from me at the flat fold finish class who was sick as a dog, sniffling and coughing and sneezing and not wearing a mask. Thank you very much. And talking about being on cold medicine. So if you're not feeling well, like, Stay please home. just... Stay home. Yeah. Or at least wear a mask. Or, Isolate yourself. Tell people, hey, I'm not feeling good. I don't want to give it to anybody else, but I didn't want to miss the experience. Okay, I get it. You know, but do some precautions and warn people. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. And so. And Stacy did let everybody at the retreat know. She didn't tell them who it was. It was me. But she let everybody know that someone had. had but I didn't. I didn't COVID. get sick till the last day, so I did not arrive infected. It's unlikely. No, and we didn't fly, so we didn't fly. There's only one place she could have gotten it. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. We stayed at the hotel. Well, we stayed at the campground, but it's outside. Right, and it was just us. It was just the two of us. There, there was nobody else with us. So that's a thing that you have to consider when you go to these events. Now you're in a room with a hundred to three hundred other people for three days. You're gonna be exposed exposed to other people's germs <laughs> and exposing them to yours. So the kind thing is, if you don't feel well, just isolate yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah, I'll get off my soapbox now. Well, it is a bit of a soapbox because a lot of these retreats are coming up now and people are going to them and people think, oh, I don't have to wear a mask anymore. But you know what? If you've been wearing a mask for a year, your immune system is not up to par because it's been protected. So um, be smart. neither one of us is a doctor, by the way. This is not medical advice. <laughs> It's not medical advice. It's just, this is your mom telling you. <laughs> this is mom, mom voice. <laughs> this is mom voice. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yes. yes. So oh, the flat fold finish. I want to talk about yes. this because honestly, this was my favorite part. Mine too. Of the retreat. Yeah. Because I got to learn a really new, cool finish that I had never done before. It's not new. It's actually been around for a long time. But new we, to me. New to us. Yeah. New to me. Yeah. Um, and she even gave us this really cute booklet that has we could put our notes in it now i will say that the instructions in the booklet did not actually match the instructions in the class us, yeah which was okay because yeah, i worked. think i think the instructions she gave us in the class were a lot easier this is a little more confusing to me when i was looking at it i was like oh wow this looks well, like do you want to share some of that instead of um, them staring at us Excuse bless me. you i guess is this something that it's okay to share yeah okay so there's i mean it's got pictures and so i mean i'm not going to go through the whole thing we're not doing a tutorial right no so it just kind of goes through has the pictures tells you how to like how to choose your material how to measure your material where you're gluing it that kind of thing yes yeah. you know but i thought it was really nice to get a booklet because i put notes in my book because that's how i roll to. it's around here somewhere but let's show them what we finished. Yes. Sweaty. Well, you go ahead because yours was a design. Oh, yeah. My, so actually... I did one of the designs by Emily Call, that's um featured designer. And this is the mermaid. You've seen this on a previous floss tube, the mermaid with the um, uh, squid octopus in the embroidery hoop. And then this is the flat fold finish. We got the little string at the bottom. They had these beautiful fabrics you could choose from mm -hmm. in many, many different colors. Thank goodness, because I didn't use any of the called for colors. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the first one I ever did, and it and it came out really nice. I'm really yeah, show them the bottom. It. She used the rickrack on yeah. the bottom. Yeah. And mine, I used a ribbon. So mine is um, mine is you would have seen it on a previous floss tube. Also, mine is the Noel. Sorry, Emily. I didn't like the design. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want a mermaid. I didn't want. Yeah, I'm. I'm a whiny. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna do my own thing. So mine is the somewhere on here. I wrote it down. Oh, it's Noel. It's on eighteen count white, which I had to beg off of her because I didn't have by... any eighteen count. Um, it's by Gentle... Gina Gina Ganay, 
and I found it in the Just Cross Stitch holiday issue uh, from 2023. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was in the uh, Blast from the Past section. So clearly it was published in the 80s at some point. So I may have even had it in a different magazine. But I just liked it. And then the, the um, I don't know if you can see that the floss is the variegated kind. And the floss is by, um, Met floss is Mediterranean Sea by Gentle Art Design. And I picked up the floss. It's okay. I don't remember. Wait. Yes, I do. Um, at, um, yeah. <laughs> It'll come to you. Let's move on. StitchCon. Okay. <laughs> I got the floss at StitchCon. It was really pretty floss. I think I ordered, got like three skeins of it, so you may see this again. But there's my flat fold finish. Very nice. So you cute. Picked, you picked all the same fabric. Well, I used the same fabric for the back and the and the thing because um it ma it matched well enough yeah to the Noel. I didn't want you don't have to be matchy matchy with this. No, you could be contrasting. You could do complementary. You know. But I just, I just think this is really cute. Now I have another flat fold finish at home that somebody had made, but they only made the thing this wide, oh. and it doesn't stand up well. Oh, so I think yeah. you gotta have a like a couple of inches there, Two inch, yeah, to give it some stability. Yeah, I mean that's really stable. Yeah, that's really stable. Well, but the bigger it is, the more horizontal space it takes up. So you have to kind of right, that. right. So that was the finish. That was, and that was very enjoyable. It was. Um, Stacy went through the class every time, <laughs> walking up and down, walking people through it, making sure that we were on task. Even if you didn't ask a question, if she noticed that you were stuck, she did a really, really good job of, oh, yeah. of helping everybody out if we got stuck or um, keeping everybody on pace. And it was very relaxed. I mean, they had a schedule, but um, it was plenty of time. Yeah, she gave like two or three hours for the class. And in fact, um, something went long. Oh, people were shopping. Oh, so yeah, the shopping. <laughs> the shopping. I mean, she they had a trunk show. Um, with And her husband was there and her son is Dennis. And who's her husband? Do you remember his I'm name? I'm sorry. I don't no, recall. I don't either. I'm, so, I'm sorry. And he was so helpful. He was so sweet. He was. And he does wood turning. So he had his wood turning bowls and he had floss sticks. I guess that's what you said they were. Yeah. Of different sizes so you and could, different wood grains. So you could wrap your floss and then cut them all the same length. Oh, I see. But I mean, his woodworking skills were really outstanding. Oh, I saw, beautiful. They, yeah. they were beautiful pieces. I, I was have, very tempted. I, I just took don't a lot of pictures if you way. want them. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. I'll send you the pictures. Yeah, I barely I took. took any pictures. I took it a lot of pictures. It just all went by so fast. I took a lot of pictures because my husband also does wood turning mm. and I was really impressed. I wanted to show him okay. the, the, the stuff that he was turning. So there was a line like all the way to the end. There of the was room. a long line. So it was just the two of them checking people out and um, it was a longer process. This was their first retreat that they ever did and they did a phenomenal job. And the only hiccup was that it took a while to check out, but like, Nobody was complaining. The long was pretty line. Everybody was really, really The kind. long was pretty line? Pretty long, sorry. The line was pretty long. The line yeah. was pretty long. <laughs> Reverse that. Sorry. <laughs> um, and, and you know, if, if you had to, like, if you couldn't stand there that long and you needed to sit down, it was no problem. You could sit down. You could jump back in line, whatever. They made sure that everybody got through the line who wanted to. Um, and they rearranged the schedule to compensate for that. Because uh, they didn't want people to stress. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't stand in line and buy this because right. I have to go to the class. The class, right. Right. So they just said, you know what? The 11 o'clock class is going to come at one o'clock yep. after lunch and no no worries. And and now they said moving forward, you know, they're going to have to have more than just the two of them checking people out. <laughs> well, it wasn't just their stuff. They had a, they oh, had, a lot of stuff. Yeah. They had a lot the of shop, fabric. The whole... They had two or three different fabric designers. They had a lot of floss there. I know I bought floss. She bought me fabric let's, there. Let's show the things that we bought. Whoa, that's a great segue. Let's show the things that we bought. <laughs> see what I did? Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, but they did have a lot of different things, and it was it was very enjoyable. I love it shopping. It was. And the, 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 little, the little store was inside the same banquet hall, and um, it was just sort of closed off with um partition part yeah just yeah. partitions um so they had like things hanging up on the partition 
And um, it, it, I liked that it was right there. Yeah, we didn't have to leave. You can, And you could see, oh, the line's getting short. I can go up and get my thing now. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I really did like that. I like, yeah. But they only had that room because they had a huge banquet hall and there was only like 120 people. Right. It wasn't like 300, like StitchCon. You could no. never fit a, um, no. a trunk show inside the same room as, as 300 people stitching. But yeah. So the, I only picked up one thing. I picked up um, a fat corner of 36 count linen by Fiber on a Whim. This is called Milk and Honey. So I wanted a good um, neutral tan tone. Is that 18 off -white. count? Off-white. This is 36 count. 36 count so linen? So it would be 18 count over two. <laughs> Linen, yeah. right? Yeah, this yeah. is linen. Yes. You yeah, can you can tell it's linen because the fibers. the fibers aren't even, mm. right? So it's it's more a natural fiber, just cotton, which I really like it, except it, it really does hold. Linen has a very strong memory, and so it wrinkles easily. Yeah, it holds the folds. It does. Yeah. I think I think my favorite to stitch on, and I just, even though I really like this, I like how it looks. But I think to stitch on, I really like the 18 count Ada or the 20 count Ada. But, it's just easier. But I, I just, I had, to, I don't have a lot of neutrals in my stash, so I picked that up. What did you pick cool. up, Bridget? Actually, you bought me, <laughs> she bought me this really great fabric. It's opalescent and it's, um, what's the name of it? It is a fat half and it says it's not color fast. And that's okay because yeah. I don't wash my shit anyway. <laughs> I'm a bad girl. But it seems to be caught in two different places. Where's those nippers I got? There we go. Yep, see? Handy hey. Stuff. Handy stuff. Yeah, um, I like them. They have a lid. My other pair don't, don't have, have a lid. Yeah. yeah. I have one pair with a lid and one pair without. And I'm looking. For, it's from Under the Sea Fabrics. I'm looking for the actual name. The name? Whimsical Winter. Oh, there you go. Okay, so this is. Oh, wow. This is opalescent. See, I just, I think ocean. Every time I see stuff like this, I know. I Isn't it gorgeous? Or oh. Aurora Borealis. Maybe I should put the beach, the beach uh, theme thing on this one. Sure. Instead of the other fabric. You can see the sparkles in the video. It's Isn't very it pretty. pretty. Oh, gosh. It's beautiful. It's very pretty. Very, like, sea green. Oh, oh. dark blue. Dropped You something. dropped a fat. A yep, I did. Floss. So, um, Sarah had bought me the clue. Mystery box. Um, mystery box. That one was Forbidden Fiber Company. They did the clue game. You know who did it? Was it Mr. Body, Mr. Mustard, um, I'm Colonel Mustard, um, Mrs. White, Miss Peacock, those sorts of things. Miss Scarlet. Ms. Yeah. So the fabric that she picked out was clearly for her. <laughs> I picked out the wrong fabric. It was some kind of it was really it high was a count forty linen. count. Yeah, forty yeah. count linen. And I'm like, I'm looking at it, I'm going, I can't really stitch on this. And since she bought it as a birthday present, she went ahead and kindly bought me a replacement fabric. Yeah. Now, I'm already stitching it on something I had in yeah. my stash. So this is just special. Bonus. Yeah, bonus. I, I don't know what I'm going to put on this yet, but, you know. It's very pretty. You, you will can put see a it. bunch of things on it. Yeah, yeah. So pretty. And I love the opalescent. Ah. Even though it's harder to stitch on. A little bit. I find it. So then... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull out. This is. These are all from Fiberlicious. This is Lavender Bliss. This is hand dyed spun silk. This is Lavender Bliss. This is Ocean Breeze. Oh, yeah. I'll hold it up. This one is Mermaid Treasures. You're seeing a theme here, right? <laughs> Yeah, they, there was a lot of beach themed stuff. This one is sapphire blue. Look Ooh, at that wow. blue. Is that not the best? Yeah, that that's so stunning. beautiful. So those are all silks. And I have to tell you, I started using silks just recently, and I love them. They're so soft, and they're so nice to stitch with. Um, and then I got some fabric. I mean fabric. Back up. I got some floss from Live and Die LA. This one's called Smack the Jellyfish. <laughs> This one is called Taste the Rainbow. Oh, nice. I know, right? Look at that. That's so fun. This one is Mad Hatter. Oh, and wow. this one is My Favorite Mistake. Oh. So I guess <laughs> she didn't intend to do it that way. Maybe. But those, now I believe those are all cotton. Yeah, these are cotton. They flosses. feel like cotton. Now that I have 
worked with the silk, I can kind of tell the difference. Yeah. But you know what? I these have colors, blended. man. I love these bright variegations. They're stunning. I may not use them all in the same project no, because no, I have found not. that some of the projects I'm doing will have a variegated and they'll have regular floss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think using the regular floss helps the variegated to pop. Yeah. If you use all variegated, I think it might be too much. Yes. So I'm kind of learning as I go here. And what you can do is what I did here. I is you can pick out the colors, the solid colors that go with the variations. So yeah. this variegated floss here, I picked out um, this um, the same green to do the bottle, mm. and then this variegated floss, I picked out the pink and I stitched the tomato with the pink. Mm -hmm. So you can do that with any variegation. And interesting fact. The DMC variations and variegated floss, if you go on their website, they tell you which colors they've blended, which numbers they've blended. Oh. So you don't have to find it. You don't have to figure it out on your own. By looking Just look in it the up, book. Look it up on the website and they'll tell you exactly what those colors are. Cool. Kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that the other designers do that. But the other thing I also know is a lot of people are like, oh, I'll only stitch with cotton or I'll only stitch with silk and they won't blend them. Yeah, you can. I blend them. I'll stitch with you can a stitch silk whatever you want. and Mix a cotton and, There's and no... a Krennic on the same project. Oh my gosh. There's no fancy floss police. <laughs> no, but there's so many fancy flosses to choose from. It's really hard, you know, to just stick with the straight and narrow. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore. I think I'm going to be, you know, picking out something prettier if I like it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, I think that's it for purchases. Yes. Okay. We were very frugal on this trip. We, well, I bought we, one thing. We've been spending a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> How does that go? Spending, buying cross stitch supplies like I'm immortal. Mm. Right. Yes. So, it's not hoarding. It's it's a curated collection. Which could open actually a small store at hey. this point. <laughs> um so i did this this retreat i did um take a lot of things off the freebie table there was just so much good stuff there same and i don't i feel bad because like am i gonna have time to stitch all the things i don't know but i really really love these things that we're I gonna try with. i don't i think this i don't know if this was on the freebie table or if this was part of our our a bag or something somebody was hanging out handing out this is called here we may be free by darling and whimsy i like that it's really pretty so i don't know if we're still gonna do the um the, the bar shed yeah. in the backyard but we might end up doing a travel trailer instead and i'll still have all of these beach themed i love that one because stitches. that one to me like speaks of protecting the ocean and the whales it gets mm. me choked up oh i see that i see that as a mermaid too uh no <laughs> um, this is, um, my guilty pleasure by mama, Witch cross stitch. Look at that raccoon. You guys, he's so cute. So mama, Witch which cross stitch, if you follow her on Instagram has all these critters, these fun, really little animals, amorphized, oh, amorphized, amorphized. Um, they all wear clothes and glasses and they're really cute. And then they're very busy. They, they have, she always has a lot of stuff going on in the background and borders and stuff. I don't know if I'll stitch the whole thing or if I'll just stick to the raccoon, but he's, hmm. he's pretty cute. I think he'll make a good holiday ornament, winter holiday ornament. And then I picked this up. I hope she's not watching. Um, I'll probably stitch this for my mother-in-law. I had the jackpot on the mother-in-law department. <clears throat> this is called Lovely Mother-in-Law by Stony Creek. Yes. When I read it, I was like, oh, yeah, you have to do oh, that. Oh, yeah. She's, she's, she's a wonderful lady. Um, she, she teared up when she came with us dress shopping for my wedding dress. She did. Um, she's very, very sweet. She likes her better than her son. She well, told me that. <laughs> oh, did she? Oh, that's funny. Well, he he does pranks, and so she'll call me and she'll say, "Sarah, is this true?" And I'll be, "No, Kathy, it's not true. Oscar's pranking you." She'll be like, "Oh, I'm gonna kill him." <laughs> he always gets her too. He does. He gets her every time. Every once in a while, I'll I'll join in and be like, "Oh yeah, we're totally moving to Orlando." Uh huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, I think she'll find that very sweet. Yeah. And this I'll do on linen because it's more classical. She likes the more traditional. That would work tastes. on the linen you just got. Oh, yeah, it probably will. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. I might do that. Yeah, it doesn't look, it's a lot of back stitch. It's not that much cross stitch. Sounds like a new start. It'll go, it'll go really fast. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see, what else? This is Under the Sea by Salty Stitcher Designs. I think this, um. Are you sure you didn't buy that? I think I might have bought that. Because it still has a price tag on it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I got this on the freebie table if I bought it. I was going to say, usually stuff on the freebie table doesn't have a price tag. But it's more <laughs> sea-themed nautical stuff. Right. I think you actually bought that pattern there. This one I did find on the freebie table. This is Support Group by That's Lori Holt. So funny. <laughs> I love it. So what I think I might do is I might design, like these are supposed to be, I think they're bras, but I might co um, <clears throat> copy mimic the, the pattern and make... Um, panties and it'll look like bathing suit like bikinis. like a bikini yeah. yeah yeah and then i picked up this is hilarious i'm totally doing this to my kids christmas cross stitch photo frame ornaments oh no by janlin um i don't know who the designer is i think janlin is the is the um publisher oh it's aren't these everything. great and it comes with 14 count perforated plastic flip it around Oh yeah, it's a kit. It comes with all the things. Oh my god, and it's still all in there. It's still all in there. And the gold and everything. I, I can't wait. I have, I'm gonna do my boys and my nieces and nephews. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's plenty. <laughs> so, and that, Too those cute. look like quick little stitches. Yeah. Yep, and um, I guess the gold is for the backing. I think so. The gold foil, I think, is yeah. for the backing. So whew, I'm, I'm excited about that. And you might actually have finishes. Oh, <laughs> one day. I had a finish. I had the flat full finish. I picked up <laughs> sil um, Seashell Silhouette by Diane Authors. This is also a kit. It's 14 count, but I, I love the colors. Um, the ver It's very simple. I love the fabric. Yeah, it's, it's just like a two burlap. Colors fabric color yeah. um and this will be really pretty in the travel trailer mm -hmm. and oh that's the kit yeah so that's all the patterns i picked up but you also and then picked i also up. found this really cute um bag so these are all thimbles yeah so i'm totally using this as a project bag best freebie table ever oh my i gosh. have to say and then i found lots of pretty fabric so this is i think this is um 32 count linen this pretty fabric um this would also be good with like a white monochrome but you know what that seashell one that you got you could do some of the seashells on this oh instead of no i like the burlap brown hmm. i yeah. would do i would do a different color you mean like repeat yeah. the design yeah maybe yeah. you could repeat the design on here or something else but I, I like that. It's um, really pretty. I also pretty. found this gorgeous. This is called Acid Goth. This is 28 Count Lugana by Starlight Ar Alchemy. Look at that. Like, that's big, definitely big enough for a project. Oh, yeah. What am you I know what it looks like? That? It looks like somebody had bought it and made a project, and that's what was left over. Yeah, this looks like galaxies. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, such planets on Or it. they bought it and then never used it and decided to pass it on. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, which was really kind. I can't Acid wait. goth. I can't believe it. Acid goth. I love that. <laughs> and then this is um, brown linen. This is 18 count cross stitch plus. It's, um, is it Weichelt? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, I guess Weichelt. It's, I know that's a popular Weichelt. brand and I should know how to pronounce that, but I don't. And that was okay. on the freebie table. Yeah. That's a lot of fabric. It is. And it's very coarse. This is this yeah. is definitely like burlap type fabric. Right. And you oh, would, there's a lot of but, it. But that it's would also be great for a beach. Yes. But now being very see-through, you are going to have to be cognizant of how you start and stop your finishes. But oh, yeah. You do, you do perfect backs. I, I can backs, do it neat. So, yeah. Um, you know what? You know what looks really confidence. good on this fabric is one of the freebies that they gave us. Um, this one, the Tiny Modernist. Look how bright those colors are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That uh -huh. look really nice. Uh -huh. Also for, you know, I'm going to have stuff hanging up all over that travel trailer. I'm going <laughs> to do the um, the suction cups <laughs> or maybe magnet. Well, it's probably aluminum's not magnetic. Well, those 3M hooks work really great. I don't like the sticky stuff. 
No. Well, no. they they have they they pull out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The yeah. Temporary. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Do that. But I think this would look great on here, even though it's it's a lot darker. I think the colors. I don't know. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so that's. I've got freebie For table. once, I think she got more off the freebie I table know, than I did. And, but I love all of these things. Like, I can't, I want to stitch all the things, you guys. All the things. So what did you get off the freebie table? Present? Not as much as you. <laughs> I did. I kept going back and I was like, no, I, I need to leave some for other people. I'm, I'm, I might not get to stitch on all the things. So I, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be greedy, but like. No, this is and really, I, I, I was actually stuff. trying I love this stuff. not to bring stuff Well, I don't home. have a lot of fabric in my stash. Right. I really just don't. I usually buy fabric for a project, but um, some of these were just so pretty. And, I mean, this is right up my alley. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I will stitch something on this. Gee, so. it's blue, I wonder. <laughs> It's, it's like teal. a sea green. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. No, that's why I think it'd be really good for beach stuff because it yeah. is a sea green. Yeah. And I know you have a couple of um, like that octopus mm -hmm. and the fish mm -hmm. and that kind of thing mm -hmm. that you bought at other places. Yeah. Yeah. I got those, go at on the those. and they would go, that would go good with like a, or the acid goth would go good with like a white. Yeah. Yeah. Just an outline kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Some One, kind or of monochrome silhouette. color. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Silhouette. Yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah. So on the freebie meant. table, I found. A bobbin yes. box. A project bobbin box. A little box. one. A little one. I haven't seen these little ones in years. years. And I've never seen one that opens this way. Yeah. Mine all open this way. Right. Long ways. Or, yeah, yeah. But this one opens like, and then you've got your big, mm -hmm. and then you've got your little ones. And I have, I use these. I have several of these that, I have one that just has my variegated flosses in it. And I think this one is going to end up having all of my fancy it flosses. Sucks. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean... I Are might, you going to bobbinate those? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I'll have to Well, you have these have beautiful floss it. drops. I do have these beautiful floss drops. You can drops. put them on here. I might. But then I would lose the tag. No, you just... You, what you do just, you do? Tape the tag yeah, on the back? Yeah, I would just tape it. Messy? Yeah, well, okay. mm, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. But I saw the bobbin box and I was like, it has my name on it. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I could Somebody had also brought an immense brandy snifter. Was it brandy snifter? No, I'm thinking of the other thing. A big ass Ziploc bag. Okay. Full of DMC floss. Like, Which I didn't take any of those. I have plenty of floss. I didn't. Well, I did because oh, you were missing colors. 745 was the color of the moon in the haunted oh, house. Yes. So that moon I, took forever to stitch. And I'll tell you what, I actually picked out three of these. And one of them is in that project because I had to open it and start using it. Because I was doing the moon there, I had done the outline, figuring that the fill in would be easy to stitch at the retreat. Right, you could stitch I could it while chat. you're talking. I wouldn't have to count. You're not going to mess it up. I couldn't mess it up. I'll tell you what, that's what I did, and I didn't even finish the moon. Oh, yeah. Because I started working on the other things. We were talking. And we did There was talking. a lot going on. There was a lot of giveaways, there were door prizes, there were raffles. And I got 815 because I knew I had a list in my phone of flosses that I'm low on that the oh. next time I hit the floss store, yeah. I'm going to pick them up and eight fifteen. 15. Yeah, that's was on another the list. one of those popular deep reds. So I went, but I limited myself to these three and I'm talking, somebody could have just taken the whole bag yeah. and walked away, but nobody did. Everybody just kind of picked through and took one or two. Nobody wanted to be, you know, the greedy person. Yeah. Who took there was the whole no bag. need. You take what you need. Right. Yeah. And I found this one. And this is, says, home is where you hang your hat and park your broom. <laughs> I love it. I know, right? And it's um by Finally a Farm Girl. See, her dress is variegated. That would, that would look really oh, good. Oh, yeah. And the broom is variegated. Very cute. I, I know. It. And it was on the freebie table. I love it. I love it. And then I found this one, Idle Hands. And this is 18 count. Fiddler's White, mm. and it's 15 by 22. Oh, so it's like an oatmeal. Yeah, and then when I went back the second time, there was another Ooh, one. Ooh, very nice. So I did take them. Yeah. I took both of them. Mm -hmm. I haven't Those figured out like, what they're going to have on them yet, but but they're Those very, are 18 count, you said? These are both 18 count. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. If I do decide to do a sampler, there's... Okay. This is... When I look at this, I see... Old fashioned Tradition. sampler. Okay. Yeah. Or Santa. Or another sa or sure. Santa. Or Santa. You do Santa. <laughs> 
And then somebody had left DMC, 14 count, Ada Linen, in a really nice kind of... Does it say Ada Linen? It says... You said Ada Linen. It linen, does. A linen Ada. Ada. Interesting. It says I wonder linen why it Ada. says that. Maybe just because it's cotton. I, I don't know. And they have a free design inside, which I'm probably yeah. not going to stitch. But um, this is brand new, still in the package. You know, somebody bought it and then decided, nope, they weren't going to use it. Um, it's 14 by 18. It's, you know, your typical. But that color is not one I've seen before. And it's kind of, I can't even describe It's a khaki, right? Yeah. 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 It's, a it's a khaki. It's like it's this a one. That's like a khaki brown. Yeah. Uh-huh. Very much potato like that. Potato sack. Potato yeah. sack brown. <laughs> oh, and here's another oh, more oatmeal. oatmeal. That yeah. looks like 14 count. This one I think is the same as the other two. So, yep. Went home with me. Well, that one's not 18 count. And the other two are. You That's, can tell just by looking. It's definitely. You? Yeah. Okay. I'm reading it like a book. <laughs> <laughs> And then somebody Yay! somebody put put waste, waste canvas. canvas on the freebie table. It's eight and a half count, which is perfect when you're gonna put a small ish pattern on a shirt. And how do we know that, Bridget? Because we did that. <laughs> <laughs> so our latest video before this one is a tutorial about how to cross stitch on a t-shirt using waste canvas. And actually the waste canvas I used was eight and a half inch. And I, eight and a half stitches to the inch. And I had not been able to find more of it. So I was so happy to see that on the freebie table because I was like, oh, great. That means I could do another shirt. So that was happiness. And, well, maybe I did get as much off the freebie table as you did because I still have a couple more was, things. There was just a lot of things on the freebie and table like, so, that I don't have, like fabric. So generous because they were all, like this one, is a complete a kit. kit. Yeah. I guess somebody decided they That's just really pretty. Make it. It's called Victorian Treasures Ornament Kit, and it's um, Design Connections. I can't read that word. Uh, ink. Oh, Design Connections Ink. It's it's under the. It's white. It's on the pink. Yeah, it's faded. White letters on the pink. Um, but they're a butterfly, a little stocking, and a, a heart. And a heart. Yeah, so cute. And you could put initials in the heart. You don't have to put joy. Oh, well, I probably will put Joy. Yeah. Or I might just put somebody's name, like Mom. Is And is that perforated paper? It is it perforated paper? It looks like it, yes. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So it's a complete kit, and it's even Ooh, got the beads. little roses. It's got little beads. And I don't know about ribbons. the beads. And the ribbon. Very yes. nice. Yes. So, I mean, you can see when you finish it off, you have the ribbon. You have a little rose there. Oh, yeah. And I know a couple of people in my family who would love a Victorian very much their ornament. style yes. yes yes they're gonna love it and then <laughs> and then and then there's this eye cord maker which I'm looking at and I'm like what the heck but then when I was looking at it and realized it's an eye cord maker so an eye cord is what you well, there's use a, there's oh, there's one in the somebody had made one somebody and left started it in one there. yeah you want to take it out and show sure so when you're making when you do a finish and you finish it as a pillow, say, you're gonna wanna put a cord around the outside of the pillow. Oh wow, that's really thick cord though. Yeah, but if you were doing a pillow in these colors, this is the cord you would use. And this is the thing that you would make, this helps you make the cord. I mean, yeah, can you make the cord in other ways? Yeah, there's a way that you could you Oh could yeah, take, you can do twisting cord. Right, you could twist the cord. I usually tie it around, um, the handle on the uh, door, the doorknob is a great place to do. Oh, I have a make magnetic an cord. cord. I just, yeah. Yeah. So I tie a little piece of string around that and then that goes around the doorknob and then I tie my floss onto the end of that string. So I don't waste a lot of floss tying it around the doorknob. And then you can just twist, 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 twist until it actually wraps back around itself. And that's how I yeah, made this other is totally different. This is actual. So this is called. This isn't just twist. A kumi loom yeah look at that wow so that's not just twist that's actually going to make eye cord and so they use it for um trims or you can use it if you make a purse and you need or a tote bag oh but it doesn't use embroidery floss it uses a different kind of string you can use a lot of different things I guess you could probably do it with embroidery floss you could also do pearlized cotton you could use it for yarn. 
I've made cording out of I've made cording out of a lot of things, but I never had an actual thing that would make it. I use I always had to use the twist method. So I'm really excited to see that. Oh wow, what's that? That looks like more thread. There's a thing coming out of here. Yeah, those are bobbins of some kind. Yeah, well, right. Oh look, they come apart. Yeah, uh -huh. and snap together. Oh my. I hadn't actually opened this and really played with it yet. I was waiting till after this floss tube. Oh, what's this? Something else in the bag. Oh, <laughs> is that a charm? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a fairy bell, but it doesn't have a ring in it. Mm. It's just really heavy. I guess it's if you were going to use it as a zipper pull, that would be a good zipper pull. Really cool, huh? Yeah, very interesting. Oh, and you can do it with like fuzzy, fuzzy floss. Yes, you can use um, different uh, types of, like I said, yarn or fancy yarn, you know, the fuzzy yarn, stuff like that. So, or you could do it with this, with these plastic things, like you would make a loom, you know, when you have the loom when you're a kid. Anyway, yeah, lots of really different cool. materials. It's, it's highly handy. So if you need cording for any of your finishes, let me know. We'll play with this. <laughs> but I really love the fact that um, there's all these different ways of finishing things because finishing is my weak spot. Oh, speaking of finishing, that was the taboo word. Oh, that's so right. So there was a game. Everybody got a bracelet with a charm um, in the mail uh, about a month or so before the retreat. And um, I don't know if you've ever been to a baby shower and you can't say the word baby or you get somebody's like, necklace that has a pacifier on it well that was the same kind of game you couldn't say the word finish and and unless and then if you if you heard somebody say it you got all their bracelets and you ended up with like nine no i had 11 11 but somebody but the else winner had, ended up with like 15 yes yeah, i think you were had, second or third place somebody else had a lot more than me yeah, yeah. so it was a game and they there was a, a giveaway there was a whole kit and stuff it was really cool that was fun i i enjoyed that aspect of yeah. the retreat so a little something she lost her bracelet to me like the first hour i did I, I had two i heard somebody else say it during the flat fold finish and then i ended up handing them over to bridget <laughs> and i collected quite a few of them yeah yeah because i chatted with people yeah. and then they said the word finish and i said oh you said the bat you said the f word uh -oh. i get your bracelet yeah. and they just handed them over right yeah that was the f word right of the weekend finish <laughs> that was a really fun part of it it was it was a fun game it was a fun retreat i would go again I would go again. Um, so um, Stacy and family are moving to Tennessee. Pigeon Forge, I think. She as said. we're recording this, yep. they're house hunting. Um, uh, so they're not they they're not sure where they're going to have their next retreat. If it's going to be closer to home, or if they're going to do it again in Tampa. But you know, I'm sure they'll be letting everyone know. Um, Oh, in addition to all the fun things on the freebie table and in the bag, um, there were, of course, folks handing out little goodies. Oh, yeah. Lots we, of goodies. We handed out um, our usual goodies, the little um, needle felt needle book. And Bridget made um, orts holders, crocheted orts holders for all of our table mates. Mm -hmm. And I handed out um, scissors for all of our table mates. Actually, I made scissors. the needle books, too. She made the needle books. Yeah. I was busy. She was, yeah, <laughs> but you know, you're so you're retired. We've got to fill up your time. Um, but folks were handing out things like um, I think this is uh, a needle minder with a York peppermint patty. <laughs> yep. Oh, the, they they handed us so much stuff. I think what we were going to do is just put it all on the table. Oh, okay. And do do like a, a scan of okay. it. Okay. Because there's just way way we'll too much. We'll show you all the fun things people yep. made. Um, one of our table mates made the scissor fob. Which so I thought cute. was really pretty for yeah. beach themed. Um, yeah, so we'll lay that all out and so we can share with you all the fun goodies. Mm -hmm. So if you see the Beach Please Retreat or Stacy Stitches Retreat again, you know you'll have a good time. Yeah, I, I, for their first retreat, like it went off really, really well. The, the only thing that they had mentioned they were going to do differently is the checkout line. They might have a second person checking people out. Everything else went really, Or a really different smoothly. system, so it was easier to look it up. Oh, and the audio system. 
Oh yeah, it was hard to hear announcements because the audio system wasn't very loud. It that wasn't cutting out. That wasn't their fault. That was the the venue. You don't have a lot of control over that. Right. Um, but everything else went off went really smoothly. We had a great time. We did. People are awesome. I mean, everybody's on vacation, crossing. Like, what's there not to be happy about? <laughs> yeah, and some people would like. Be, they would leave to go walk on the beach. Yeah, you know, and they were they were they weren't there in the evening because after dinner they would go to the ocean because mm -hmm. we were right there. So. Not Friday. Friday it rained. It was so windy. Friday we were actually under a wind advisory. That's how windy it was. It was crazy. They were saying gusts up to like 50, 60 miles per hour, which is a lot. Mm. But I didn't notice because we were inside. We were inside. Yep. And mom's little a liner camper was fine. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have any problems with the camper. No problem. I was a little bit worried about like a tree branch breaking because there were a lot of trees where we camped, but it, it worked yeah. out. Yep. Yeah. I think that's all. I think that is. So until next time, stitch, stitch on. on.